August 30. What have you given? Peter made it clear that Christ's death was an appointment, not an accident. It was ordained by God before the foundation of the world. From the human perspective, our Lord was cruelly murdered. But from the divine perspective, he laid down his life for sinners. But he was raised from the dead. Now anyone who trusts him will be saved for eternity. When you and I meditate on the sacrifice of Christ for us, certainly we should want to obey God and live holy lives for his glory. When only a young lady, Frances Ridley Havergal, saw a picture of the crucified Christ with this caption under it, I did this for thee, what hast thou done for me? Quickly she wrote a poem but was dissatisfied with it and threw it into the fireplace. The paper came out unharmed. Later, at her father's suggestion, she published the poem and today we sing it. I gave my life for thee, my precious blood I shed, that thou might ransomed be and quickened from the dead. I gave, I gave my life for thee, what hast thou given for me? A good question indeed. I trust you and I can give a good answer to the Lord. Today's verse. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, and ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. John chapter 15 verse 16. Additional verses. John chapter 15 verse 10. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. Titus chapter 2 verse 14 and 1 John chapter 2 verses 3 to 6. See how many things you can jot down that you have given to Christ. Have a time of prayer. Amen.